All right, welcome back. We have another standard deck, Golgari Midrange. Pretty excited for this one, as Golgari is quickly becoming one of my favorite color combos. But before we get into it, if you could hit that subscribe button for me, small lag for you, huge deal for me, greatly appreciated. But as far as the deck, we're going to run three cutdowns for control, three go for the throats, also for control. Tenacious Underdog, it's a good two drop. And being able to, you know, have a little draw engine there is pretty good too. Uh, Mosswood Knight, little draw engine. And a creature that can potentially never die, good for mid-late game stuff. Terra Sunder, in case there's a little bit of artifact enchantments or maybe you just need to exile a particular creature, who knows. But it's great, uh, a great card. Graveyard Trespasser. To help control the graveyards, as most decks kind of rely on graveyard now, so it's pretty good. Then we're going to run four uh, Lilianas, uh, super annoying cards, so not much needs to be said there. Uh, Glissa Sunslayer is a great card as well. She'll eat up a bunch of like targeted removal and stuff like that, but if you can keep her around, it's a good uh, draw engine, or you can remove counters from permanents or destroy enchantments, depending what you need at the time. Uh, Shieldred, because Shieldred can win games on her own. Uh, Soren is pretty good for uh, looking through your deck to find what you need. And he can create little 2-3 flying lifelinkers, so he's pretty good here too. We're going to run one though. We're going to run one of the basic Shieldred, uh, in case you need to control up. Or maybe you get to the true scriptures and actually do some serious damage with that. But we're only going to run one. I think uh, it doesn't really need more, but, you know, feel free to change up and put what you want in the deck. Uh, Workshop Chief, good old Rhino Warrior. Haven't used him in a while, but he fits in pretty nicely. And he's a good way to gain life and, you know, double creatures. So, he's good to go. Uh, Virtue of Persistence. As a sorcery adventure, you can... Uh, Give a creature minus three, minus three until a turn and gain two life. So you can control and gain a little bit of life. But it's really the enchantment itself that's amazing. Where you can put target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Super powerful if you can get it out. Uh, and we're going to run one Nisa Ascendant Animist. That's also a great card. Control up uh, artifacts and enchantments or create a bunch of horrors to overrun your opponent. Uh, use as you see fit. But as far as lands, we're going to run basic utility like Takanuma and Bosiju. But we're also going to run four Death Cap Glades, four Land of War Wastes, and four Restless Cottages. Now, I really like this card too. He can he can do some serious damage, help you control graveyards, create some food tokens for you know a little bit of sustain. And he's a big 4-4, so he's pretty effective. And we're going to run one Mirex in case you need another uh, creature generator. It's really good. But I'm very excited to test run this deck. So let's quit uh, yapping about the stuff we already know and throw down some cards. Alright, Shivan Raider. We go first. Kind of shocked by that, but it is what it is. Drop our cottage first. Mono red, who's shark? Not me. Go ahead, draw a card. We will go ahead and force the sacrifice of Felden so he gets no uh, hard advantage off of it. One of your friends has to leave. I mean, our Lily's gonna die, but that's definitely okay. Drop the Soren. At least force out a lightning bolt on it. 
deal at the with very this least. Place. Would have liked a non-tapped land, but that's okay. To get our war chief out. But something tells me we gotta play with fire coming. That's something. Wow. Mono red for you. Never change. All right. Re Noah. I think that's probably how you'd say that. I don't know. But our opponent does go first. We're going to do a tap land so we have access to a black source next turn. So maybe we can drop the underdog. It'll probably die to a cut down, but that's okay. Well. I guess we can drop the mirror, because that's probably a mistake. But what can you do? We'll go ahead and toss him. First. It's a great card though. Um let's just throw down another land. Definitely a mistake, but <laughs> at this point. Let's just get rid of the hearse now. Oof, that smells like Wandering Emperor to me. Nope, and eat it. Okay. But we can get our Dread Knight out. Worst case, we're going to pull some more removal. Really Very nasty. Something suspicious is going on. And for once, it's not my fault. Oh, I've always hated crowds. But. We can still play it next turn. But we're not going to. We're going to be super annoying with Shieldreds. It's okay. Though I think our best play is to use the underdog to get rid of the lily. So that's what we're gonna do. And drawing a card is gonna be nice too, so let's not forget that part. <laughs> Alright, so we've got a hand again. That's pretty nice. Definitely gonna go for the children. <laughs> Maybe the trespasser. Virtue. Children, definitely children. Always children. Be a mistake not to. Must let's go ahead and draw a card. And let's get him out.
from you. Run away. You'll be safe. Guards, to me. Well. Okay. I guess because we had the mana, so we can end up playing Shouldered again, so I guess that's a good reason to quit out, I guess. Or I guess you can see the virtue of Persistence, too, when we're right there on the cusp of it, so I guess I don't blame him. Alright. What is that? Lippy 255? Or is that uh, Leapy? I don't know. We're going to play the tap land first. We don't have a one drop anyway. Ooh, okay. Let's go ahead and draw a card. Alright, I like it. That's going to get super annoying really fast. So... Let's get a little deep this creature out. Oh wow. Okay, so we got some life gain going on over here. That's gonna be a thing to deal with. go ahead and pass her turn really thought I really thought about dropping the lily but the shield is gonna cause a lot of issues for him so I'm sure he'll probably have a destroy evil or maybe he'll have his own I guess that wouldn't work he doesn't run black so or some kind of destroy evil or ossification you know that kind of shit just freaking out oh my god Pretty cool though. Big token here. Yeah. It's a lesbian token. Probably has got the white virtue, I'm assuming. Um Go ahead and start making creatures. Maybe this will kind of force him to come in. Although I'm still thinking the discard's probably going to be very important. I'm assuming it was a mistake that I haven't done it already, but I think we'll do that next turn. Yeah, see the virtue. Oh, what I would not give for a. Uh, Man, you're gonna have to kill the niece. Ooh. Well, Welcome, my I'm not gonna swing in yet. we can do
kind of a waste, but I don't want a tan tan coming at me, to be honest with you. <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and loop live, draw a card. Well, what is this? It's just a rabbit creature tokens. Let's just go ahead and get rid of that. So that can be super annoying. You won't be outsmarting me. And keep building up our creatures. Because he has to get rid of the Nisa, or he that right there is gonna, it's gonna die. Drop it. No attacks. Although I like what he's doing though. It's pretty interesting. Oh, I finally got it. No. <laughs> My Nisa. Um, would have had something better? Go ahead and get another trespasser out. Take the virtue. Not sure it's gonna matter, but let's force him to sacrifice. One of your friends has to That's leave. Good. Let's get us a draw. And another draw. Which is a land. Damn it. <laughs> and yeah, he sees the virtue. And it's just gonna overrun him, but... <laughs> Those virtues are pretty brutal, man. They're pretty brutal. But that's Golgari mid-range for you. Super fun deck. Had a lot of fun playing it. But uh, let me know what you guys think and uh, if we can find some new additions to it. Because right now it just it seems to work pretty okay. But, you know, there might be some cards I'm not seeing that could really benefit this deck. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made it this far. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Because subscribing makes you feel good.